I now want to show you how to open and properly set up a DXF file in NDN. So from the home screen, I'm going to come over to the open file button, and then I'll go ahead and click on browse and find my DXF file. So this is the folder I want, but at the moment NDN is only showing me .NDN files. So I'll select the drop down, select .DXF files. Here's the file I want to open, then I can simply double click on it. And now I have my DXF file opened initially in NDN. Now, before we begin work on our model, we want to make sure we have our units set up properly and that the structure is close to the origin. So to help determine our units, I'm going to come up to the top and click on one of our measurement tools and take a few measurements. So the distance between these two posts is a little over 3,600 units. Let's look at our span. It's a little over 7,500 units. Now I know this is a metric model, so this information is telling me that right now we're in millimeters instead of meters. That's okay. I'll right click. So let's now go set our units. So I'll come back to the setup environment and I'll come over and click on units. So what I'm going to do now for my length, I'll go ahead and select millimeters. And then you'll see this prompt come up. This is just telling you that this model has data. Are you sure you want to set this? Yes, I want to set this. And I'll actually go ahead and do my force as well. I don't have to, but I will just because I'm here. I'll go Newtons. I'll click yes. And I went ahead and set Newtons as well because I'm now going to convert this model from Newtons and millimeters to kilonewtons and meters because that will put us in the metric defaults for NDN. So now to convert this, I'll come down here to convert units to, I will select kilonewtons and I will select meters. Now just below it here, you can see that the conversion factor has been populated. It's going to multiply everything by 0 0.001. I will go ahead and click convert, click OK. And then what happened? It looks like the model disappeared. Well, no, the model's over here. Everything just got adjusted in NDN. I'm going to do a double click on the scroll wheel, which will do a zoom extent. I see my model. It still all looks the same. Let's now go ahead and take a measurement to see if everything got adjusted properly. Let's take a distance right here. All right, now we are 3.64 meters. Let's look at our span. Perfect. We're working in meters, which is exactly what I want. Now, let's take a look at our grid and find out where the origin is. So I'm going to come up to the top of the program and turn on my grid. And I get this error. This is telling me the grid is too small. And that's because we've changed the scale of this model. The grid has not been adjusted to match our new model. Let me go ahead and click OK. I'm going to put us in a top view. And I'm going to come over and click on the little hand with the pencil. And then click on my grid. And this shows us why we could not see the grid. Because now we have squares on our grid of 0 0.002 meters. So it's way too small to see. So let's go ahead and change this out to 1. There we go. Now all of a sudden you see our grid appeared. It looks like this corner is right in the middle of the grid. Looks much better. I'm going to go ahead and click finish. Now, I just want to check and see where the origin is, just so I know. So I'm going to come up here to the top in the model environment and click Add Node. And then just in the text bar at the bottom, I'm going to type in 0 space 0 space 0, and then hit Enter. And that'll give me a node right at the origin. And it looks like, if I move us around here, yeah, it went ahead and it put a node right there. So that's telling me that's where my origin is. Okay, that's good. So I know now that my model is close to the origin, and that's important because when you start running analysis, you have a big model. If it turns out that this model is thousands of meters away from the origin, you can start running into problems when NDN has to take that into account while it's doing all of its work behind the scenes. Now, if this model was a long way from the origin, let me go ahead and I'm going to turn off the grid. I'm going to put this in an angle where I can grab this model easily, and I'm going to move everything to the origin just to show you. So now, Let's come back in here and let's go to Translate, which is the Trans button. Click on Trans. I'm going to select All Element Types by Window. And now I simply grab my model, right click. All I simply need to do is select whatever node I want to be at the origin. Let's say this node right here. And then I want to move that to the origin. 
If I zoom in, you can see it shows me the arrow of where it's going to move. Right click, right click again, and the whole model has been moved to the origin. So now I simply need to do a save as. I'll come up, do a save as, save this as a .ndn file, click save, yes. All right, now I have my model in the correct units, at the origin, saved as an NDN file. I'm good to start work. There is, however, one additional thing I want to show you. Let me go ahead and open up my original DXF. Open. Now let's say you forget to check some of the distances on your model. You come right into the setup environment, go over to units, set your metric defaults. Yes, I want to set this. You now have your model in meters. Click OK, and now you start working. Eventually, you'll run into the issue that if we go ahead and check some distances, again, we still have that little over 3,600 units, but now we know that's a little over 3,600 meters. So we know the model is huge. It's far bigger than it should be. If we come back to the setup environment and we go to use the convert feature, well, we can convert this from meters to millimeters, but the size of the model will still be huge. So we can't really use the convert feature here, and that's okay. We can go ahead and click okay. If you run into this issue, simply come over in the model environment. We're gonna go over and we're gonna scale the structure. So I'll go ahead and click the scale button, and I'm gonna scale all elements, and I'm gonna scale all of them. Everything gets highlighted, and now you simply enter in the X, Y, and Z components of how you wanna scale this, what the scale factor is. I want to go from meters to millimeters, so I'm going to type in 0 .001. There's X, there's Y, there's Z. I'll go ahead and click OK, and then it looks like the model disappeared. What happened? Well, it scaled the entire thing. It multiplied the size of my model by that 0 .001. You can see the model right down here. Let's do a double click on the scroll wheel to do a zoom extent. I now get the whole model back. Now let's go ahead and check a couple dimensions again. From post to post, I now have 3.66 meters. That looks great. Let's look at our span. Again, there we go. That one's a little over nine meters. So now I know I have the actual size of the model I want. Right click to get out of that. Come back over to the setup environment and I can see that I still have my meters along with my kilonewtons set up here as my default click OK. So remember, if you're ever working with a model that's in the units you want, but the size or the scale of the model is off, don't forget about the scale feature to adjust the model to get it to the right size.